All right, here we go, Sunday. Second day to cook on this Gator Pit new pellet cooker. I've got my digital thermo set to 270, 275. I don't know if you can see it there. And it's went down to 270, now it's kicking back up and it's gonna go back up to 275. So it's doing what it's supposed to within that five degrees. And my tail true gauge is reading right about 275 right there, close to it. Uh, it took uh, nine minutes for it to go from a cold, very cold pit, like cold, to 225. Uh, was less than nine minutes. The other day I got it to do it in less than five minutes. Uh, but it's, it's, I had it on high when I got it within that uh, five minute range. Today I started out in mid, uh, which is probably why it took, <coughs> excuse me, a little longer. But we're about to put a brisket on. All right, guys. All right, guys, we're about to put this prime brisket on. It was about a 13 and a half pound. I trimmed easily about two pounds of fat off of it. Uh, and I'm keeping it whole. And I've got some CRC Rowdy Smoky and Bold rub with some Dale's or Moore's marinade. I took it right out of the crowd back. And here you go. Fix and throw it on my pellet cooker, running 275 on average. And we're fixing to put it on and we're gonna see how this pellet cooker my gator pit does on brisket today and i'm gonna keep it around 250 275 i'm gonna start off at 275 and i'm gonna bump it down to 250 which is my cooking temp that i like to keep when i'm cooking on my big bad stick burner and they're the big pellets that it uses gator pit keep in touch see ya